The conditional formatting feature will apply formatting to cells when a certain condition has been met or certain conditions that you set. So if it meets them, then it can go ahead and format a range of cells that you selected. So for example, I've got my three different genres of books, fantasy, fiction, and self-help, that we sold throughout the year. And let's say that these are in hundreds of thousands of dollars. So instead of just a hundred bucks, let's say it's a hundred thousand. Well, that's better. So if I want to be able to identify those months for these books that sales were greater than 250,000, instead of eyeballing it here, how about if we go ahead and apply a formatting using the conditional formatting rule that says when it meets this condition, apply the format of, well, it's your flavor. Let's go ahead and first select our range here that we want to set this up and come up here on the Home tab to the Styles group. And it's right there, conditional formatting. You can see when I hover over it in the pop-up, it says you can easily spot trends and patterns in your data using bars, colors, icons to visually highlight important values. Go ahead and click on it. And let's start with this one up at the top first where we can highlight cell rules, meaning that I want to highlight cells that are greater than 250. So go ahead and click on it. it opens it, okay, 237. We don't want that, so go ahead and type over it. And then with what color? You can do light, red, fill with dark red text, or click on the drop down arrow. You can choose from all these others, or even do your own custom format. Click on it. Choose a different color, effects, font styles. You can just go crazy here. Let's go ahead and click Cancel. I'm going to keep it simple. And click on the drop down arrow and do a green fill with dark green text. When I select that, it gives you a preview. If you like it, click OK. If not, click Cancel. I'm going to go ahead and click Okie Dokie and click off. OK, only those cells that met that condition of being greater than 250 not exactly 250s you see here in cell H4, but greater than, then they're highlighted. So that pops out and I can go, oh great, looks like October through December were our best months, where it was kind of scattered throughout the rest of the year. And then to go ahead and clear that, you can do it one of two ways. You can either go ahead and select the range here, and then come up here to conditional formatting and go down to clear rules to clear rules from the selected cells or you can do rules from the entire sheet. So if you have more than one rule in other parts of the worksheet here, it would clear everything out, so you may not want to do that. And there are other ways to manage this, and we'll talk about that in a later training video. For right now, I just want to cover the basics of conditional formatting. So let's go ahead and say, well, either one we can select, clear rules from selected cells, and it's gone. And then with them still selected, let's come back up here, Home tab to Styles, let's do some more conditional formatting and see what else we got. Top bottom rule. How about if we want to find the bottom, well it says 10%, but you can change that. So if you want to find the bottom cells, go ahead and click on it and say, all right, let's do the bottom 25%. Yeah, we can do red because, you know, red's bad. You don't want red ink. Go ahead and click OK and, all right, so of the selected range, the 25%, that were found at the bottom with hundreds of thousands and not up into, well, goes up to 150 and 200, 300. Well, those are the ones that are in the bottom 25%. Okay, and let's go ahead and come back up here, click on the drop down arrow. We can go ahead and clear the rules and say clear from selected cells. Come back up and let's do data bars. So let's go with the gradient feel. The gradient means it goes from one color to another, typically from one solid color to a lighter color, which is here, going to be white. Or you can do a solid fill. You can hover over it and see if that's your flavor. Let me go ahead and do this one because that one's kind of purpley-ish. Go ahead and click on it and click off. All right. So you can see with the lower numbers, it has a teeny bar. And then as it starts getting bigger, well, you've got a bigger bar. All righty. Let's go ahead and select the range again and clear that out. Clear rules, clear from selected, click on it again. Color scales. So this gets kind of fun. Instead of having bars growing, you can actually have the color change as the numbers get larger. So you've got the green, yellow, red color scales. So when you click on it, let me click off and it applies it. So in the red, the lower end of the scale are the 100s. But as you start to increase, 200 gets a little bit orangey to yellow kind of into the light green and then the solid green right there the darkest green is the one that we made the highest sales out of all our books which was fantasy in well the genre fantasy in december sweet let's go ahead and select this again come back up here and we'll clear it 
We'll click on it again, and last but not least, the icon set. Oh, there's a lot of flavors there. How about if we do a star rating? Click on that, and then click off, and so those that aren't colored in, it was a bad month for sales all of January because none of them were colored in. But you got something here, and then let's see, the best month again is December. The highest rating there is a full colored star. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.